At least 39 have died in Panama after a bus carrying more than 60 migrants fell off a cliff early on February 15, the country's migration authorities said, marking the worst migration accident in the Central American country's history. Local media showed an aerial view of the accident scene, with parts of the wrecked bus lying along the road and multiple rescue teams in the area. The bus, carrying migrants who had traveled through the Darien Gap, a dangerous stretch of jungle that connects Colombia to Central America, was heading towards a shelter located in the western coastal province of Chiriqui, which borders Costa Rica. More than half of the 66 passengers in the bus died in the accident near the Gualaca migrant shelter, an area with many curving roads, authorities said. About 20 people were hospitalized with injuries, some of them severely wounded, Panama's Social Security Authority told Reuters. Migration authorities did not provide details on the nationalities of the victims, saying it would first communicate with the relatives and respective embassies of the passengers. Last year, a record 248,000 migrants crossed the Darien Gap, most of them Venezuelans. A new, stricter U.S. migration policy has resulted in many being returned to Panama, where they often cannot afford transportation back to Venezuela. Since the beginning of 2023, a further 32,800 have crossed the Darien Gap, Panama's foreign ministry said on Tuesday. Hacia el distrito de Chiriqui Grande, en el sector de Bocas del Toro, unidades de accidentología del Instituto de Medicina Legal y Ciencias Forenses, también del Ministerio Público de Hualaca y también de David, los organismos de seguridad están aquí presentes en este lugar para iniciar estas labores de levantamiento de los cadáveres que puede tomar horas porque estamos hablando de 33 personas en, hacia este sector desde el Darien con miras a llegar precisamente a Centroamérica y las labores se van realizando de forma coordinada entre los estamentos de seguridad el cuerpo de bomberos con los funcionarios del Ministerio Público, la carretera está cerrada totalmente. Están solicitando que no hagan tránsito hacia Bocas del Toro, al menos por las próximas horas, mientras se finalizan estos...